As the final details are set, Leonard adds his own professional touches. We're in the mad scientist lab where we're using a lot of black light. You don't want to light the whole room with black light, so we've lit most of it with white light. But you do want to make some stuff glow in the dark by using black lights. And we're using the theatrical light here, but as you can see, the even a small handheld works very well. One of the hottest things in haunted house lighting is, is LEDs. Um, they're inexpensive. They're very uh, easy to use, and batteries should last all night. You can light very small areas, and it's very dim. When it comes to lighting, less is more. So you, you want to use that darkness to your advantage, only light areas that you want to see. When people see light uh, in an office building or from the sun, it's always a constant light. So in a haunted house, we make things blink or flicker to make it feel unworldly. One of the cool things about strobe lights is that if you run them very, very slowly, almost to where they just barely move with multiple lights, it'll make the room look like the walls are bouncing around. And normally when we do haunted houses, we're gonna use colored light. It gives it an eerie feel. As well as dramatic lighting, we've also added some sound effects on both sides of the, of the hallway. It's easy to do at home. You can record it on your iPhone using a voice recorder and utilize the small speakers and place them exactly where you need them. <laughs> we are watching you. At Halloween time, it's really a great idea to call upon the experts. And for makeup, well, we called upon our friend Christopher Buckle, who is an extraordinary makeup artist. And Christopher, you've done some transformations Thank here. Thank you. Dr. Figgy, your face looks amazing. So it's very simple. Very simple. It's just straight up eyeshadow. And then to make it look like maybe an experiment went wrong, we took black hairspray that you can buy at any store. A little tooth enamel, which you buy at Halloween stores, and then you paint it on. Well, you look like the mad scientist well, that good. you are. That's great. It's fantastic. <laughs> now, this is some transformation. Yes. This well, is really horrifying. Well, the, the voodoo <laughs> woman. Kristen, I cannot believe that you have been so transformed. Brown teeth and those eyelashes. These eyelashes actually I made out of a pair of false eyelashes. And I took Elmer's glue and I cut a few branches out of a craft broom. Yeah. And I painted them black and then glued them together. And um, yeah, so just some things that you might have so, around. Right, you're perfect for the voodoo shanty and you will terrify people. And difficult makeup? No. It's just the same tooth enamel, actually the same eyeshadows that I used here on Dr. Figgy, and just contouring the face, just creating shadows and highlights. And you can really transform a face a lot by just being creative with you have shadows. You do a lot of yeah, just facial expressions to get those... The right lines. Yeah. So it your accentuates face. your own yeah. facial contour. Yeah, or hold a light over your head to like really get the, oh, the drama. The so that you can, oh, that's the worst lighting, but the <laughs> best for Halloween. But basically, all of this shadowing is eyeshadow. Also, very important, if you can uh, find them, you can uh, get these special effects for your eyes. And these are just contact lenses. I've worn them for years, yes. different kinds. And I love I've your- I've never, ever worn a contact oh, lens but Don't you before. love how it looks, the white eye? It's a little cloudy. Oh, it is? But I'm getting oh. used to it. <laughs> and now, what about Leonard? Uh, it looks like the most complex. Well, this is a zombie. With this, liquid latex gives you a really great effect. Well, where, it's do very you get, where do you get liquid latex? Liquid latex you can get at a Halloween store. You smear it on with your hands, and That's you good. keep the skin stretched while it's drying. You can use a hair dryer to help. And then when you relax, all these wrinkles Ooh, it's so come in. The wounds are where the latex is really great because what you do is you take like a little bit of a, a hairpin or something, something that you can like grab into the latex, which is basically rubber, and you can peel it open and then paint some fake mm. blood on the inside and create all these amazing wounds. How do you and feel? Scary. <laughs> and again, just some green tooth enamel and some brown and some low lights and highlights on the face are really great. And same three eyeshadow colors, oh. black, gray, and a burgundy color for all three characters. So you can really yeah. get everyone together with very little. But that's the fun of Halloween, transformation. Your mothers are going to I not know. recognize you, yeah. which is a good thing. <laughs> and Chris, I'm ready to get into my transformation. Oh yes. Okay? Mm -hmm. So let's go. While I get into costume, the rest of the team takes care of the last minute elements. I think it's kinda cool. Yeah, it is including a variety of nostalgic games for the party area, a ghoulish appetizer menu, and treats for the kids. To create a dramatic and inexpensive display for your party, try creating a backlit candy wall. Tamara shows us how. We have this great piece of antique furniture back here, 
and I'm going to backlight it to give a really nice dramatic effect for the evening. And we have these great LED lighting strips that come from Home Depot. And they're really wonderful because you can cut them to any size. So I've measured out my shelf and I've cut my lighting already. Protect your surface with blue painter's tape and then use double-sided tape to hold the LED strips in place. Be sure all of your cords are going in the same direction. You can easily hide them with decorative elements, such as a crate or a large pumpkin. Place glass jars filled with candy in front of the lights and you will have a beautifully illuminated candy display. The setup is complete and we're ready for the guests to arrive. <laughs> 